Let's start out with an informal greeting from me and my Christmas tree to you. What's happening? I'm back with another taste test. I've done a lot of them, and maybe you're sick and tired of them, but I'm not, and I love them, and maybe you do love them, and if you do love them, let me know. I would love to find out and see what I just don't, okay. If you love them, let me know. I love doing these things, I think it's so much fun. But I also love traveling, I don't do it much, but traveling is fun. Who does not like traveling? Even if you don't get to do it. Even if the only traveling you get to do is when you're watching YouTube videos of people traveling and trying new food and actually going to these places, but not to worry because companies like Taste and Curiosity exist. So thank you so much to David for reaching out to me and telling me about this. This apparently just launched, so you're getting some of the first good goods here on my video. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Taste and Curiosity really quick, then we're gonna get into the snacks. Taste and Curiosity, their mission. Our mission is to encourage others to step outside of their comfort zone so they can make their dreams into reality. All right, so let's open this beautiful box. You find that this is the Sakura set. Everybody with me now. Sakura. I'm just kidding. I probably said that really wrong. I don't know how to say that, but uh, it could be Sakura. It could be Sakura. It could be Sakura. That was probably not it. This is going to take us on a journey. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Then it comes with a magnet. Oh, this is the magnet. Okay. So I was reading. This is the magnet. Okay. It says, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Walt Disney. And down here it says Taste and Curiosity. I was reading about this magnet. Bonus magnet in each box. Each box includes a unique collectible magnet with an inspirational quote. Hopefully every trip to the fridge can remind people of their dreams. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna put this on my fridge for sure. That makes me want to know what the heck is in the next one. I'm just gonna pick at random. This. Oh, I think I've had something like this before. This one, I gotta find on here. Nope. 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 Mmm. This one's gonna kind of be hard because I can't read this. Umable, 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 umable. That's how I would pronounce it in English. Umable, vegetable flavor. Same vegetable flavored corn puff that is a household name in Japan. Okie dokie, man, let's open these. This is what it is. And if there are anything like those vegetable chips I had one time from one of the subscription companies, I'm gonna love this because I loved the vegetable chips that I have. I think it was that, or was it salad? No, I think it was vegetable chips. I like veggie chips. Let's try this. Hands down, I'm gonna finish this all right now. It's so good, I really love this vegetable flavor. I don't know how they do this, but I love it. It tastes so delicious, Tiki. I know what you're talking about, Apple. I might be doing that a lot during this video because I talk a lot and I eat a lot and I don't know which one to do first. One thing's for sure, I'm almost finished and I'm gonna finish this all right now. That was so good. All right, next. Handy dandy trusty thing. These, ooh, these. Look at these, it's like Coca-Cola. Super Cola candy. Delicious cola flavored candy with a sour and hard outside coating, but a soft and sweet core. Say no more, let's open this up now. Whoa, they look like Japanese peanuts. Let's try this. This is kind of hard to open. I mean, to, to open, to bite. Oh, we're not supposed to bite. I like this. You can see all my muscle, look. See, that's why I love eating. You work out your muscles. You get like nice. Work out the job. Muscle. I like this. I like this. This is good. This little cola man is rocking out. All right, next. This. All right. Oh, this is so cute. Flavor burst peach gum. <gasps> gum? Oh, I love gum. Okay, we're gonna wait this. We're gonna wait for this till the end, okay? In the meantime, we'll choose. Haichu. Special Haichu. These special Japanese versions have fruity bits infused into chewy candies. Flavors seasonal. <gasps> Whoa. All right, this one looks like orange peel vanilla. Maybe. Orange dreamsicle. Mm. Bitter orange, it says. All right. Let's see how bitter this orange really is. Why does everything happen like that? No! I think one thing I just learned about myself is that I love to eat, but it's also very dangerous to be around me when I eat because I might be overwhelmed and whoosh. Whoa, I got a little piece of the fruit stuck to my Food fight? Anybody? The consistency of this is not like the Mahachus that I've had before. Like this is like softer, chewier. I like this. Where has this candy been all my life? I've been missing out because this is good. I don't taste no bitter orange. I do taste a little bit of orange. As I say, 
Well, I was looking out my back window, looking at the orange tree behind me. Swear these are not your brothers and sisters. I had nothing to do with this. So, wow, that was so good. I want another one. Let's swoop it up. Swoop it up? Swoop it up. Not like soup, but like, what, what, what? Let me pimp out this tree trying to soup it up. But we're gonna soup up our taste buds. This is Panda Cookies. A delicious blend of both white and milk chocolate on a cookie. No pandas were hurt making these. Huh, <laughs> that's cute. No pandas were hurt making these. <laughs> I wonder who the model pandas were. Like, imagine them bringing in, like, yes, can we please get four pandas in here? We need to get them in here. We need to get their facial expressions. And then they're just like, okay, at shock. And then you get this. Oh, look. They have two sides. Like, this is like the outside, and then this is like the skeletal side. <laughs> well, this melts super fast. All right. Sorry, panda. This, there's no pandas being hurt in the making. Does that mean this one hurt either? Mmm. I like these, they're so good. Mm. These are for real good. This guy looks a little sad though. It says 20th anniversary. It says 1996. Congratulations on your 20th anniversary, Panda. Hey, Matt. Uh, guys. I hate them all. I can't help it, they were so good. Next, all right, we have four more things. And this looks so awesome. This is the lychee gummy candy. Now, I might not say that right, because I've heard it said in many different ways, and I really don't know which one it is. Gluten-free, delicious, and juicy. Lychee gummy, fruit-flavored gummies that pack a ton of flavor. Try not to finish the entire bag one day. You got it, I will try, I will try. No promises, you see what happened to the pandas? I can't guarantee that. Whoa, they're individually wrapped. You know how freaking awesome that is? That's so awesome. All right, let's open it up. I don't know what that was about. I'm just really excited. Whoa, it's got a little gummy candy. Wait, is it, it has a consistency of it? Flavor and texture of the original fruit. Mm. Well, by golly, if the freaking lychee fruit has the same flavor as this gummy, then I would be eating Light cheese all the time. All right, on to the last two, three. This or this? I'm gonna say this. This is a Maito, 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 me too, me too, me I too, may I too? Maito, me too, fish water. Fluffy filling between two light wafers melts in your mouth when eating. Flavors seasonal. What? OMG, Becky, we're gonna try this chocolate cracker. Oh, it smells beautiful. Look at it. I love strawberry wafers. Look at this. It's a fish. Mm -hmm. But let's go in and bite it. Should we keep bite the lips? What? Look at the inside. I'm amazed. It's like bubbly on the inside, but it's like, it really does melt in your mouth. Like it really does. Like I'm gonna try it again. This is fantastic. I can't stop. And it has that little tarty flavor. You know that little like tart flavor that, oh, this is just too good to put down. It's happening. I'm going to finish this all right now. Mm. 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 I'm in love. I'm in love with a fish that I just ate. Just kidding. That's really weird. This was so delightful. I want this again. All right. We're almost done. Chocolate cream cookie. Set of three mini biscuits with a milk chocolate filling, perfect with coffee or tea. I never had cookies with tea, I don't think. Anybody want to suggest me some good cookies to try with tea? Like, suggest the tea, please, and the cookie that I can try. Because I really want to try it. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't know which ones to try. But I want to. Oh, these are cute. Look at this. Oh, they were lying. There's three little cookies in here. Look at how cute they are. Whoa, this is cool. Mm-hmm. You know what this reminds me of? When you look at it, it looks like two crepes were not finished being made, so they just like made, you know, a little round thing, and then they grabbed it and they put Nutella in it, and then they just slap them together like a quesadilla. Those are fantastic. But I was also gonna say that it tastes like, the, you know, the ice cream cones that you get, or the, the little paper cones, well, I don't know what they're called, like a cup, like it has that kind of like feel to me. I feel like, like when you crunch it, it has that little taste of it at the beginning and then now. Next one, last one. You ready? It's the gum. I'm so excited. I like the flavor of peach. Flavor burst peach gum. Three peach flavored gumballs, but they don't taste the same. <gasps> 
Be careful of the sour one. Whoa! So this is like a prick in a candy wrapper. Now I get it. One is sweet, one is sour, and I don't know what the other one is. Maybe they're both sweet and one sour. I'm scared. All right, you guys, which one do you think it is? The middle? That's not the middle. The right, the left, or the middle? Hurry, comment down below. Now, 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 now. While I do this. Sorry, I had a cup and a burp at the same time. Did you comment? Okay. I probably didn't give you enough time to comment, but by the time I'm done talking, you'll probably have commented already. I think this one, let's try. Mm-hmm. What's the left one? Mm. Woo! Mm-hmm. That is sour. <laughs> Holy macaroni. I made my tongue feel weird because it's sour. My taste buds don't like that. I look like the guy in the wrapper. Might even have a little sweat drop. I guess there's no point eating the other two if I already found the sour one, right? And there you have it, I finished all of them. I finished, I finished all of them. There's none left. If I had to pick one of my favorites, I think it had to be this fishy thing, but I also like the lychee. Now, I wanna know from you guys, have you ever tasted any of these? And if you did, please tell me which one is your favorite. But maybe, just maybe, I tried one of your favorite candy that you've tried before, and I wanna know, because I wanna know if we've tried the same thing before. That's Taste and Curiosity, the box. Yes, 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 yes. You can follow them at tasteandcuriosity.com. They also have a Facebook and Instagram, so please go show them some love. Like they showed me some love, and we definitely need to spread love. Share the love, spread the love, send love. Oh, also, I was also reading that individual countries can be bought on demand without committing to a new subscription. A continuous monthly subscription will be added once we have more countries in our lineup. So. Go on there now. You don't have to have a monthly subscription. But all jokes aside, seriously check them out. Just go see, just go browse around, show their pics some love, go give them a follow, spread the word about it. You gotta do more nice things in those world. Pay it forward. Thank you so much, thank you so much. And once more to Taste and Curiosity, thank you so much to you guys for giving me a little bit of your time and paying attention to me. And before I go, I just want to say, please show that like button a little bit of romance. If you're not subscribed, please give that subscribe button a little love tap. And please don't forget to show all of my social medias a little bit of affection with the follow. And if there's one thing I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble. I'll see you next video. Bye.